I did yeah, it with Buffalo. I, I, looked, I looked for my dress and I found it straight away. But when Lauren got married, it was like we went to a shop in Islington. And... Oh, let's get the latest from CBS News correspondent Manuel Bojorquez, who is in Miami for us. A, a desperate situation, Manuel. And the local mayor speaking in the last hour or so. Yes, with a terrible update that the number of people who are unaccounted for has risen to 159. And for more than 24 hours, family members have been arriving at this reunification center, hoping to get any word on the condition of their loved ones, holding out hope still that they could be found alive in the rubble. The collapse site is just a few blocks away from us here. Uh, rescuers are bringing in additional cranes and heavy machinery to try to lift some of that rubble up. They're also working underneath, uh, trying to tunnel through what was a, a, a parking garage uh, to try to reach some of those areas where they believe people could be trapped. Everyone here is still hopeful, but of course, fearing the worst. Manuel, thank you. Manuel Bajorque there with CBS News in Miami. Let's return to the Euros because Wales have arrived in Amsterdam for their game against Denmark tomorrow. The Welsh side in good spirits after reaching the last 16. And the build-up continues for England, who face Germany on Tuesday. In a moment, we'll speak to Ollie Foster, who's at the England training ground. First, let's head to our Wales correspondent, Hal Griffith, who is in Amsterdam, uh, a positive mood there where you are, Hal? Yeah, Wales flew here from Rome yesterday. They were a touchdown and noticed distinctly lower temperatures. It's quite a bit cooler, quite a bit rainy, rainier here in uh, Amsterdam. However, Wales camp are fairly confident and keen to progress. I've been speaking to the Wales manager, Robert Page, this week. He says, while it's an accomplishment for Wales to get out of their group, their appetite is to go further, to prove themselves on the biggest stage at what is only their third major football tournament. Now, tomorrow's opponents must not be under underestimated. Denmark have been through an emotional roller coaster to get here. We all remember those scenes I've seen. Yeah, Just can't show that. And Wimbledon House with an easy reach of central London offers understated elegance. And one person is guaranteed to win this amazing prize worth over three and a half million pounds. So enter now at onays.co.uk. Beautifully just. But we don't want a full opening of the world at the moment, Brad, because uh, we want a slow um, uh, and selected reopening, uh, which is carefully done to ensure that we protect the UK and um, we don't need to go back into any restrictions. Can I just ask if there is people that are thinking, I want to go on holiday to one of these green list destinations, uh, you know, uh, one of the Balearic Islands, somewhere like that, uh, Ibiza, a popular destination. Um, but they're thinking, I'm unsure, do I book it and then hope that the restrictions don't change and it, you know, it goes on to an amber list? How can people be detected when they're booking their holiday? Okay, so just reiterating that, go and see the travel agent. Um, all those packages will be protected and uh, will offer you options of either a refund or a rebook. And generally, if it's a rebook, there will be an incentive to rebook as well. Um, you know, travel agents, tour operators don't want clients to have hassle. We want a smooth journey from the beginning of the idea in the person's mind right through to walking back through the uh, front door at the end of their ho happy holiday. So it's um, imperative for us that things go smoothly. Yeah, I'm just really keen to get that message out because, of course, it is a risky move booking a holiday these days. It really is. You know, a lot of people are staying at home, staycations, but at the end of the day, people want a bit of sun. It is wet out here in Macclesfield today. I've been out in it. Uh, we're back in your warm travel agent, but um are you hoping now hopefully in, when we do another review for travel restrictions you're hoping that at some point we do have a bit of a boom for holiday makers going abroad yeah i think that will come um it will be slow 